I'm Brad Moser, Principal of Vanier Collegiate, and I'd like to welcome you to our 2020 virtual graduation program. I am coming to you from our famous P lot, and this is the location where the majority of our grade 12s have began and ended their school days. And I would estimate that this stairwell right here has probably been used a thousand times by each and every one of those students throughout their four years of high school. I'm hopeful over the next little while that the videos that we've put together will give you a glimpse inside of those two doors and into the Vanier community. We are so proud of our students. We're so proud of our families. We're so proud of our staff. And we're especially proud of this, the class of 2020. I'm sure that the following videos will bring on some laughter, maybe bring in some tears, but will certainly spark memories of being in this community over the last four years. So sit back, relax, and enjoy.
and welcome to your graduation. This is kind of weird. Please join me in making the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gracious and loving God, we, the staff at Vanny Collegiate, thank you for the completion of another academic year and for giving us the opportunity, short though it may have been, especially this year, to play a part in the lives of our students and our new graduates. We are grateful for your guidance and love as we shared in this important work. Please bless and guide our Vanny Collegiate graduates as they reach this end and as they chart new beginnings. May what they have learned by being here with us Allow them to truly be people who serve others. May what we have learned from them enable us to be the same. Please help them to use all that they have learned throughout their elementary school years and their time here at Vanier to help make the world a better place, to serve others in true solidarity and kinship, to seek ways to help the poor, the marginalized, and those who are suffering and to always seek the greater good. We know that some of them will experience pain and hardship. We acknowledge how difficult it was for them to end their senior year away from each other. And so we ask you, Lord, to grant them comfort and strength. And finally, Father, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to build our school community with these fine young men and women while they were here. Though they are leaving our school, we know that they will always be with us as part of our Vanier family and Vanier nation. And we ask that the bonds that have been created here remain strong despite any distance. Creator God, we ask you to keep these graduates close and safe to you and to always keep them in your love and care. Guide them all the rest of their days so that they may have a fruitful and happy life. May they all come to know the joy of loving and serving you, Lord. We ask all of this in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hello to all of our family and friends. Welcome to Vanier Collegiate's first ever online graduation liturgy. Over the past four years, and especially over these past few months, we have faced many challenges and learned and worked together, both with our families and with our teachers and classmates to overcome them. Today, as we celebrate our successes and achievements, we present our hopes future plans, and joys to the Lord. We thank God for all the blessings we have received and ask him to grant us the courage to continue our mission of being witnesses to our faith. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There's a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to our psalm is Psalm 25. In you, Lord my God, I put my trust. I trust in you. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame, but shame will come on to those who are treacherous without cause. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior and my hope is in you all day long. Remember, Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are from old. Do not remember the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. 
According to your love, remember me, for you, Lord, are good. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in his ways. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful towards those who keep the demands of his covenant. For the sake of your name, Lord, forgive my iniquity, for though it is great. Who then are those who fear the Lord? He will instruct them in the ways that they should choose. They will spend their days in prosperity and their descendants will inherit the land. The Lord confides in those who fear him. He makes his covenant known to them. My eyes are ever on the Lord for he will only release my feet from the snare. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart and free me from my anguish. Look on my affliction and my distress and take away all my sins. See how numerous are my enemies and how fiercely they hate me. Guard my life and rescue me. Do not let me be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. May my integrity and uprightness protect me, because my hope, Lord, is in you. Deliver Israel, O God, from all their troubles. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remained in his love. I have told you this, so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I called you your, your friends. For everything that I've learned from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. And so whatever you ask in the name of the father will give you. This is my command to love each other. The Gospel of the Lord. Hello, graduating class of Vanier 2020. It's quite odd for me to be here in an empty church, just me and my video camera, to address you, this graduating class at Vanier. And it's very difficult for me because I like people in the pews. Even though I'm an extreme introvert, I still like that part of preaching, preaching to people. It's very hard when it's just a little red light shining in my face telling me that the camera is on. But I cannot imagine how difficult it must be for you, the cl graduating class, to graduate in this time of pandemic. I think it is all right for you to feel a little bit cheated or a little bit disappointed in the current circumstances, circumstances in some ways that can't be helped. And it is all right to feel a little bit despondent that what, what the heck is going on? I can't even have my own graduation, a time of great celebration and great joy. 
And now because of this, it is a little bit less so. I also like to thank you for asking me to address the graduating class, address all of you. It is so important that we come in any time of celebration to come to Jesus Christ, to come to his church and to allow Christ to touch even in our celebration, to come and touch our hearts. Today in the gospel, we hear two words that sometimes get misrepresented in our world and that is of love and fruit, to bear fruit. We always get mixed up, the world gets mixed up of what love is. The world tells us that love is something that we possess, we control. I love pizza, I love my video games, I love my car, I love what I do. And in that, that we possess that and that possesses us, these things. And we want all these things to come into our heart. We want to fill this gap in our heart. We want more, more, more. Sometimes it's not things. Sometimes it is people. Sometimes it's not either things or people, but ideas. That we think some sort of ideology or some sort of new way of looking at the world is going to change the world and we would have any means necessary to take it over. But love is not destructive. Love is not selfish. Love does not command us to possess anything. It is the exact opposite. In your four years, your time at Vanny, hopefully you've experienced this kind of love. This love that changes the world. And this is what Christ is calling us today, is to change the world through his love. So what is this love that Jesus talks about? What is this love that you in the graduating class is commanded to go out and share with others? Well, as Christians, as Catholics, we do not say what is love, but who is love? Love is Jesus Christ incarnate. We believe that God loved us so much, he brings, he comes down. He is his son who walks the earth, who loves us and dies for us, and brings us joy here on earth. This is so important part of the equation. When we know and love Jesus Christ in the church more and more, we find joy that cannot be found anywhere else. I know for a lot of you, you are probably searching for that joy. You might be searching for that joy in the things that you do or you enjoy or the possessions you have. And at the end of the day, those just become empty and joyless. Today, I tell you there is a different type of love that brings you joy that cannot be taken away. But that joy, I mean that love, is tough and hard, full of sacrifice. It is a great honor to address you in the month of June, which is the Sacred Heart of Jesus month. And in this month, we talk about the heart of Jesus. And as you see, I wear my stole, my Sacred Heart of Jesus stole. And you can see the heart of Christ on fire for us, loving us. But it came at a cost. He is wearing a crown of thorns and the cross of his crucifixion. This should tell us what love entails. Love entails sacrifice. Love entails perseverance and dedication and saying no to, uh, to ourselves and yes to others. You have experienced this, no doubt, at Vanier with your teachers and the people you interact with, your coaches who said no to themselves and saying yes to you. Hopefully at school masses, you've seen this in action at the sacrifice of the mass, where Jesus, who is outside of time, comes into times and gives himself to us freely. To do what? Through that we find joy, no doubt about it. Joy that cannot be found anywhere else. I'm a prime example of this. I, in my youth, struggled. I tried to find every sort of non-godly thing to fill the holes in my heart. I know that sounds like a cliche, but it is true. I tried to find joy in material goods, in satisfaction of others, and all of them left me empty, just like everyone else on that journey. I found true joy 
when I came to know and love Jesus Christ and his church, when I come to mass and experience that joy and that sacrifice on the altar, I ask you to look upon your four years in Vanier and look at those particular times where your teachers and students and support staff, even your other students, helped you on this journey, showed you love. And maybe during this time of summer to write a letter, to write a letter of thank you, to say thank you for showing me that kind of love, that kind of self-sacrifice love. Second point I wanna talk about today is bearing fruit. Jesus says once we have encountered Christ, once we accept his love, that we need to bear fruit. This is the second part of your journey of adulthood. You are graduated grade 12. Some of you might be going into the workforce and we need that. Some of you might be going to school. We need that also. Some of you might be taking some time off to figure out what you are going to do. That is good too. But rest assured that you need to make choices. And those choices become who you are. And those choices bear fruit. We can bear the poison fruit or the rotten fruit of selfishness, where we go into this world and it's just about us. It's just about what we can get out of it. It's about how we can use people, things, ideas in order for us to look good or be, or, or be big and, and grandiose, have lots of money and power. But that doesn't help the world. And most definitely, it doesn't bring you joy. It just brings you emptiness, sorrow, and despair. And those three things run rapid in our society, run rapid in our world. When Jesus tells us to bear fruit, we need to bear fruit of peace and reconciliation, of love and joy. All those things do not destroy but build up to make things more complete, more perfect in this world that God has given us. How are you to bear those fruit after graduation? Are you ready, willing, and able to say no to maybe the glamours of the world? Maybe all those things that give you instant gratification, are you willing to say no to those things and saying yes to lasting joy that comes through dedication to your job? your family, your work, your school. Because you need that sort of virtue. And I know that was cultivated through your times, time at Vanier. What a great opportunity at graduation to look back, to see how this was developed in your life. What a great time to look forward and say, how are you going to bear fruit, good fruit for the world? How are you going to embody love, hope, and joy in this world. This is the challenge. It is a challenging time. But even if it's a challenge time, that means that your footprint, your impact in the world will be that much greater, whether for good or for ill. It is your choice. I know that Vanier has given you the tools in order to reap bountifully the good fruit of this world to go out and love in a, in, a, in a good way, to love and say no to oneself and yes to others. Through this, let us transform the world. Let us go out and show love, forgiveness, and joy to the world in order for the world to turn to Christ, to look to our great Redeemer who is love itself. So I'd like to thank you again for allowing me to be with you virtually, be with you uh, through this video camera. I hope the message was loud and clear. I know at least it will be loud. It, I am humbled to be here. For a lot of the graduating class, I knew when you were just kids, just youngins. Either, either everyone else is getting old or I'm getting old too. So I'd like to thank you again for allowing me to come and share the good news of Jesus Christ and his church. Allow me to here to be part of your celebration, your great celebration. Go have a great time. And hopefully that you understand that here at St. Joe's, the church, my office door is always open to you. 
If you have any questions or if you have any, if you need someone to listen to you, I am always here. So thank you again. God bless. And hopefully you'll have a great graduating day and have a safe and wonderful summer. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For our parents, that they may continue to love and nurture us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our teachers, that they may continue to use their gifts of knowledge, we pray to the Lord. For those who live in places where peace does not prevail, we ask you to help world leaders choose paths to peace. We pray to the Lord. For tous les finissants, qu'ils soient à l'abri de tout danger pendant leur nouvelle aventure. For our many graduates, that they may be safe from all harm as they venture off into a new life. We pray to the Lord. For the Church, surtout nos prêtres et les lacs de notre foi catholique, y compris de l'abbé Georges, l'abbé Hector et l'abbé Jacques, que le Père donne vie à ceux qui souffrent. For the whole Church, especially our priests and holy men and women in the Catholic faith, especially Father George, Father Hector, and Father Jack, that the words they, they speak be the words of life for those who experience struggle, weariness, and emptiness today. For those who have died, especially those who are near and dear to us, may God welcome them into heaven, or we shall meet them again. We pray to the Lord. All this here at Vanier Collegiate, may we have a safe and joyful summer. We pray to the Lord. For our friends, that they made find all the life has to offer we pray to the Lord for those who are sick especially those around the world who are sick with the COVID-19 virus may God heal them both in faith and in health we pray to the Lord for the graduating class of 2020 at Vanny Collegiate Institute at Lucia Saskatchewan may they know how special they are and what will always be to us, both family, friends, and staff. We ask to bless each and every graduate today and always. We pray to the Lord. Our closing prayer. Gracious and loving God, we ask now for your almighty hand to be upon our Vanier Collegiate graduates as they and their families celebrate this great milestone. May they find comfort from this community's continued embrace and support as they journey through life. May they find strength in the excellence of their academic preparation. Bless their lives from this day on with goodness and success. Enable them to stay true to their dreams for your greater glory, to discern what is right, good, and just, and to use their gifts wisely and in service to others. Empower them to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love, guided by your light, so that they may use their talents to, in the words of St. Ignatius Loyola, go forth and set the world on fire. Grace be to them. Grace be to all of us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. First and foremost, congratulations to the Vanier Collegiate Class of 2020. I know this isn't the graduation that you expected. COVID-19 has forced us to get creative. We have to comply with public health orders, and that's what we see here. Celebrations are still going ahead, and that's good, because this is a time to celebrate and reflect on all that you've accomplished and will accomplish into the future. I want to commend Vanier for your efforts to be innovative and celebrate as best you can. Over the last few months, our grads have had a lot of time to think about the future. That means contemplating whether to continue pursuing an education at a post-secondary institute, a trade school, or whether to enter the workforce. No doubt this is an exciting and nervous time for you. But more than anything, I encourage you to choose a direction that you are passionate about. 
Saskatchewan has a variety of student support programs including loans, grants, and scholarships, and you can contact my office to learn more. The reality is that there are endless opportunities waiting for each and every one of you, and I have no doubt that you will make the very most of them. Congratulations and all the best in your future. Hi, I'm honored to say a few words of congratulations and to recognize you for your dedication and work on your education and obviously your future. I'd like to recognize your parents and your teachers and mentors who have assisted you over the past 13 years. So on behalf of the Premier and the Government of Saskatchewan, congratulations. We're so proud of you and your accomplishments and wish you every success as you graduate from high school into that next phase of your life. You know, I've been struggling for something to say that would be meaningful, something inspiring, and something that, well, you might remember. I tried to think of a comment or a sentence or a phrase to share with you that would have meaning and it would be just for you. You know, you are blessed to be educated in a system and in a country that believes in God. You have been educated in a positive Christian values through Vanier Collegiate. You've excelled with your determination along with your prayers and the encouragement of your family and friends and educators with good ethics and good moral standards. Everything you need as a foundation of success has now been given to you. So if there's something I could leave with you that would be simply this, to thank God in all your work, in your studies, your relationships, your communications, transactions. Thank God. You are living in a gracious province with more amenities and opportunities than anywhere else on earth. All this is there for your future success. Thank God. On behalf of a gracious province, Congratulations. God bless Canada. God bless Saskatchewan. And God bless the Vanier Collegiate graduates of 2020. Greetings, Vanier graduates. I'm Derek Hassan, board chair for Holy Trinity Catholic School Division. On behalf of my fellow trustees, we wish to extend to you a warm, heartfelt congratulations. We're so proud of what you have accomplished here today. We can't wait to hear where life leads you next. Wishing you all the best in your future endeavors. God bless. On behalf of the Holy Trinity Catholic School Division, I'm honored to extend heartfelt congratulations to the Diane class of 2020. Today you celebrate the culmination of your K-12 academic journey, an important milestone in your young lives. What likely seems like just the other day, you were welcomed to Vanier through Valhalla activities as wide-eyed, excited, but somewhat nervous grade nine students. Today, you stand united as a class whose achievements in the classroom, the arts, and in a wide variety of athletic pursuits have set an incredibly high bar for future Vanier students. While the pandemic greatly altered many of the activities you dreamt of as you neared graduation, your class leaves our halls with a unique and important inclusion on your resume. You faced an incredible challenge and not only survived, but thrived. Your experiences in the face of such adversity will indeed help you prepare for the many unknowns you will face in adulthood. I thank you for your patience, understanding and positivity as you've worked with our staff since mid-March and most recently while adapting to the plans to celebrate this momentous occasion. A quick browse of the social media gallery on Vanier's website demonstrates the energy, passion, and talent of this graduating class. Your list of accomplishments is far too vast to detail, but know that you've made our division proud as you've represented us in so many ways. While Vanier will miss your leadership and contributions, you've set a wonderful example for the younger students to emulate. I wish to thank all the graduates' parents for your support over the years but particularly in the recent months. You too have had to alter your plans and dreams for graduation ceremonies. 
We're grateful for your patience in respect of the challenges presented by the pandemic and for your cooperative spirit as the Vanier staff work to put together a memorable celebration within the parameters we face. Thank you for exemplifying a truly collaborative home and school partnership. Staff of Vanier, thanks for your years of work to guide these graduates. Much like a proud parent, it's often with tears of joy that educators watch the grads cross the stage and reflect on their growth over the years and the incredible memories and bonds that you share. Grads, I wish you all the best as you enter the next phase of your life. Whatever direction you take, know that you have the Holy Trinity Catholic School Division watching your every step, proud to call you one of our own. God bless.